Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm going to show you how to clean up your auto chart live maps on your Hummingbird. All right, guys, so auto chart live, I'm going to do a whole video on this, but I know there's a lot of questions about bad spots in your mapping. So a long time ago when I had my Gen 1s, you know, on this lake, I actually mapped this entire lake. This lake does not have a uh, topo map. So I wanted a map of this lake. So I bought me a zero line card. Now that's one of the keys to be able to do a lot of mapping. You want to buy you a zero line card. I think they run at about 99 bucks. Other than that, what I'm going to show you is, you know, what ended up happening was a spot that got real shallow. And for whatever reason, my Gen 1s were reading at like 1800 feet. So I'm going to show you this black hole. Actually, it's kind of a blue hole uh, on my graph. And I'm going to show you how to fix that or any other bad data that you have on your auto chart live maps. <laughs> All right, so you can see the uh, blue hole of infinity there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over, we're gonna hit menu one time. You can see that'll bring up our first menu. We'll go down to auto chart, whoops. And we'll just push over. Now we're gonna go down, we're looking at raw data right now. We're gonna move that show map data now that actually shows every where your boat has actually been now you can see the delete has come up so what we're going to do is we're going to come down we're going to push over and we're going to delete and you can see behind there we'll go ahead and clear it off it's actually deleted some of that now there's a little bit more of it so what i'm going to do so I'm gonna make sure I'm selected on that. I'm gonna hit menu again one more time. And I'm going to go down to auto chart, push over. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna hit delete one more time. Now you can see it's cleared it up. So let's go back in and see what changes have actually taken place in the map. And what we'll do is we'll go back down and say show map data or show raw data. There's our map. And you can see it's kind of solved our problem there. Now we can go back and we can actually graph this again and uh, put the correct data in there and your problem is solved. All right, it is really as simple as that to fix any sort of bad data on your auto chart map that you've created. So uh, give it a try. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Make sure if you uh, have seen this, I've got a ton of graphing and, you know, hummingbird kind of how to's and a lot of the stuff will translate into other graphs also. But all that being said, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get notifications when these videos come out. And as always, you guys rock.